Tô... Just don't need to be the top. But there's When you're looking at the XLR port, you can select whether that's going to be set to mic tone or mic. Mic tone level is often the signal when you're using the You can use it in on some microphones, you can just okay. power it. They can be power controlled sometimes. And if that's so, that's what they need to set this on mic. Or they can be powered from manual power. Okay. Or they can supply it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Morning Gators. Welcome to 2020-2021 Scholar Award Ceremony. This morning, we celebrate those top Gators who have excelled academically at our wonderful school. Students, your commitment to education and dedication to excellence has not gone unnoticed by the Goldman family. We value all that you have done at this school and look forward to celebrating many more of your accomplishments. Family members at home, and guests who are not joining us today but are watching virtually, thank you for your continuous work to ensure that your student understands the importance of academic achievement. It is the strong emphasis that you have placed on education at home that has lit the fire of perpetual learning. To begin our program, Ms. Isabel Ojeda, Language Arts Department Chair, will acknowledge those students that have gone above and beyond in their language arts classes. This excellence, students have discovered the wonders of the English language. Ms. Ojeda. Good morning. It is a privilege to stand before you and celebrate some of the most talented language arts students in our school starting with outstanding ninth grade language arts student. According to his teacher, Ms. Gomez, he is always ready to participate regardless of modality. He is always one of the first students in the Zoom waiting room, and he has shown a lot of improvement in his writing this school year. The recipient is Cody Jetter. Outstanding ninth grade intensive reading student. According to Ms. Ramirez, this student has gone above and beyond to keep up with the learning challenges we have all faced this year. As an MSO student, she put forth maximum effort and took the initiative to ask questions when she needed clarity on assignments. She completed all class assignments successfully and in a timely manner. She has also been very cooperative and has a knack for paying attention to detail. The recipient is Carla Roll. Outstanding ninth grade language arts honors students and there are two winners in this category. According to Ms. Yanez, the first recipient of this award is a student every teacher dreams of. She is extremely hardworking, inquisitive, respectful, and honest. She is consistent with her work and serves as a positive example to her peers. Her strength, aspirations, dreams, and love for reading will be beneficial characteristics for her future. She adds that it has truly been an honor to watch her grow academically and to have a student as enthusiastic as she. She has truly been a silver lining for Ms. Yanez this difficult year. The recipient is Simone Marshall. The second recipient in this category, according to her teacher, Ms. Labrada, is an outstanding student who surpasses her peers because of her determination and attitude. She is a gifted writer who will become a published author one day. She works hard at making sure she does well in all of her subjects. She assists her peers when they need mentoring and guidance. She is a member of the following clubs, P Club, ASL Club, Drama Club, Science Club, Anime Club, and SAFE. She is also spearheading a school-wide campaign to help students gain awareness of Tourette's Syndrome. She is very deserving of this award. The recipient is Kelsey Baker. Outstanding ninth grade language arts pre-AP students, there are two winners in this category as well. According to her teacher, Ms. Alpazar, the recipient is a dedicated student who not only completes all her assignments in a timely manner, but clearly applies maximum effort. She is quiet and soft-spoken, yet gets her point across effectively through writing and expresses her mature analysis of the text we read. She adds that it has been a pleasure to watch such a genuinely bright and responsible young lady grow. The recipient is Ashley Prieto. According to Ms. Yanez, the second award recipient in this category has shown an amazing commitment to her learning. She has excellent grades and is respected amongst her peers and teammates. She always has the right answer but will only participate when asked because of her quiet persona. Yet she does not mind asking questions when she's doubtful. She is not only a stellar student but is also a member of our girls soccer team. Ms. Yanez says she is proud to have her as part of our Goldman family and is excited for her future. The recipient is Adriana Fong.
Outstanding Journalism One student. As her proud teacher, I can say the winner of this award is a model student. She is hardworking and dedicated and works well with her peers. She is eager to learn and has a fantastic work ethic. She is charismatic, sweet, and a pleasure to have in the classroom. I can't wait to see what her journalism journey has in store. The recipient is Sabrina Cruz. Outstanding 10th grade language arts student. According to his teacher, Ms. Gomez, he is a wonderful student in every way. He has meaningful conversations when discussing literature. He turns assignments in on time and is always polite to his teachers. The recipient is Danian Romero. Outstanding 10th grade intensive reading student. This student completes all classwork and homework assignments on time. Her work ethic has earned her an A average for the entire school year. Her efforts have also greatly improved and her reading comprehension and vocabulary acquisition has increased. Additionally, she works well with her peers and is always willing to aid those who are struggling. The recipient is Alyssa Dennis. Outstanding 10th grade ESOL students, Kaylee Akanda and Robert Suarez. Outstanding 10th grade language arts honors students. There are two in this category. According to her teacher, Ms. Pedro, amid all of the difficulties that plagued the opening of the school year, she impressed me on the first day she came to class. She was always the first in the waiting room, always had her camera on, and was always ready to work. She did not allow the new way of attending school to deter her from learning or submitting excellent work. She continued to impress me further once we returned to school. Like a warrior, she returned brave, wearing her mask every day without complaining. She brought her fighting spirit to the classroom and battled through all the lessons to emerge victorious with her insightful and meticulously produced assignments. She is an exemplary academic soldier who understands that one must adapt and carry on despite life's battles. I know this young lady will achieve all of her goals. The recipient is Anna Marie Vega. The second recipient in this category, according to his teacher, Ms. Gomez, is a hardworking student who keeps his grades up even with his heavy workload. He was struggling with English in his ninth grade year. However, with time and hard work, he has flourished into a strong writer and reader this year. The recipient is Sebastian Ortiz. Outstanding 11th grade language arts student. According to Ms. Alpazar, this student's enthusiasm about anything we read in class or discussions were contagious. He participates and encourages others to do so as well. He's a hardworking young man who is a pleasure to have in class. She will truly miss the deep conversations and analysis of characters, events, and themes in the text they read together this year. Ms. Alpazar would like to end by saying thank you, Diego, for always being present in the learning process. You serve as a role model to your peers and an inspiration to me. The recipient is Diego Vargas. The 11th grade language arts most improved student, Christopher Knowles. Outstanding 11th grade honors students, there are two winners in this category. The first is Janet Quinones. And the second, according to his teacher, Ms. Laval, is an extraordinary young man who is an outstanding student. He always makes sure he was in class either physically or via Zoom. He helps his peers so that they too will be successful. He is class director of Kika and a member of NHS and very deserving of this award. The recipient is Gabriel Lawrence. Outstanding 12th grade language arts student. According to her teacher, Ms. Yanez, this award recipient is always fun to have in class. Although she's quiet and an introvert, when she contributes to class discussions, she is respected amongst her peers for her opinions and thoughtful insight. She is kind, respectful, and always contributes in a positive way. She's not only a great student, but a star athlete as part of the girls' basketball team. She knows her gratitude. She shows her gratitude being in class by saying thank you every day before she leaves. The recipient is Kyra Albury. Outstanding 12th grade applied communication student, Jean Rodriguez. Outstanding 12th grade honors language arts students, two winners in this category. According to his teacher, Ms. Yanis, this award recipient is an excellent example of Gator Pride. He is hardworking, kind, and has a positive attitude. He goes above and beyond without being prompted, and this year, he sees the rewards of his hard work and dedication as part of being one of our honor grads. 
He has a very strong work ethic and takes initiative to help others as needed. He is attentive in class, contributes to class discussions, and has always been present, whether it was online when quarantined or physically. Barbara Goldman Senior High is lucky to have a student like him as a part of our graduating class. The recipient, Abraham Arana. The second recipient in the same category, according to his teacher, Ms. Yasalaitis, isn't just an excellent language arts student. He's also kind, respectful, and considerate. He helped several students in the class who were struggling with a project to be able to get it done. In addition, he won our school's poetry contest and competed at the next level. He's extremely creative and writes beautifully. He is academically well-rounded, and although he excels in science and math he wants and wants to major in that area, he also has a deep appreciation for writing and language arts. It was a pleasure to have him in class, Ms. Yesalaitis says. He will no doubt be a success at whatever he decides to do in life. The recipient is Brandon Isigudo. Outstanding yearbook students. And there are two recipients in this category. The first recipient of the yearbook award is dedicated, intuitive, and passionate. There is never a moment she isn't working on the yearbook or thinking about it. She is a junior who is a two-year section editor and a one-year editor-in-chief, a title she was awarded even before reaching her senior year. She works well with her staff members and is a wonderful leader who is admired and respected. I cannot wait to see where her journey takes her. The recipient is Sarvia Molina. The second recipient of the yearbook award has been a journalism student all four years of high school. She was the recipient of the Journalism One Award her freshman year and has continued leaving her mark with each yearbook she has worked on. As a rising junior, she created the winning yearbook team with her incredible graphic design skills. She will now be graduating having earned the following positions throughout her past four years. Two-year section editor, assistant editor-in-chief, graphic designer, and editor-in-chief. I am sad to see her leave, but know that she will continue to have the brightest of futures. The recipient is Nicole Arenas. Outstanding AP Lang Arts students, there are two in this category. According to her teacher, Mr. Arguez, this student is an example of diligence and of hard work. She writes with maturity, with intelligence, and with clarity, showing a command of language far above the norm. This recipient is Lori Asetic. According to his teacher, Mr. Arguez, this student's writing is a joy to read. He writes with style and with sophistication, showing the kind of natural wit and insight that is nearly impossible to teach. He is an innately talented writer. The recipient is Adrian White. Outstanding AP Literature student. This student is a perceptive and nuanced reader. She is hardworking and a talented writer, and her contributions in class discussions are always appropriate and insightful. The recipient is Alyssa Prieto. And my last award, Outstanding Graduating Senior Language Arts Student. This award is given to the highest achieving English student who will be graduating. The young lady receiving this award embodies the epitome of the model student. According to her AP Lang and composition teacher last year, Ms. Virga, she is intrinsically motivated, as curious as a student can be. She loves to learn and make sense of the world around her. She lives the present, but also embraces learning about the past, both from her reading and watching old movies. She is one of the most creative students I have ever taught and always is willing to accept criticism to adjust and grow from each and every experience. This year, it has been my privilege to have this student in AP English Literature and Composition. She is a gifted reader and writer and has the most commendable work ethic. As an MSO student this year, she has proven that anything and everything is possible with enough will. She welcomed each class session with a smile, completed every assignment with grace and dedication, and participated in every single discussion while building rapport with her fellow. Thank you and congratulations to all the award recipients. Our next group of students all found poetic beauty in numbers. 
Whether asked to simplify a quadratic equation or find the root value of an imaginary number, there is no denying that math is in their DNA. Please help me welcome Mr. Gillette presenting for the Mathematics Department. It's my honor, my privilege to award these recipients today. They pretty much exemplify their models of what it means to live in a meritocracy. Okay, their merits, their efforts, the strides they've made even during the pandemic are worthy of such honor. Uh, all of your teachers basically wrote <laughs> narratives on each and every one of you. Some of them even wrote essays. But, uh, I'll stick to the adjectives that pretty much ring true for all of you. Self-motivated, dedicated, cooperative, determined, focused, inquisitive, gifted, star student. I guess that's what it takes to make it through a pandemic and still succeed. Hopefully you all will move on to bigger and greater things and will make our society a greater place. Starting with Algebra 1, Rachel Yannis. Remil Rito. Geometry, we have Onelis Torres Buela. Also in geometry, Jim Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Moving on to Algebra 2, Marie St. Louis. Marie St. Louis. Algebra 2, Zhao Ziping Zeng. Kevin Alfonso. Also in Algebra 2, Sabrina Cruz. Number two, Leonardo Ladera. Number two, Janelle Quiroz. In precalculus. Nicole Rod, sorry, Julian, Julian Mooney. Also in pre-calculus, Maria Sabina. Congratulations.
in calculus AB, Nicole Rodriguez. In the Calculus BC Award, <laughs> Joseph Mooney. Also in Calculus BC, Kira Ruiz Houston. Congratulations. Your mom will be proud, man. <laughs> Also in Calculus BC, Brandon Isibido. In Calculus BC, Lucas Rodriguez. Congratulations. In Probability and Statistics Honors, we have Delania Hornia. Also in Probability and Statistics Honors, we have Maximus Rod Ramirez. AP Statistics Award, Kira Ruiz Houston. Also in AP Statistics Award, we have Nicole Rodriguez. Congratulations again. Congratulations. Man. Okay, the next recipient is going to receive the Joel Shackney AP Statistics Award. Kira Ruiz Houston. Congrats again. May as well pay rent up here. Okay, lastly, the outstanding graduating senior mathematics award winner is Joseph Mooney. Let's congratulate the winners. I feel, I feel very short when I have to pull the, <laughs> the microphone down. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Gillette. Recipients of the Science Awards have all decided to be the very best in their science classes. 
The science awards will be presented by Mr. Simonet, science department chair. Pleasant good morning to all of you. We are pleased this morning to present these awards to the carriers of the flame of the vision of the science department. We are proud that you're all members of our student body. And so, for physical science, we present Fabian Arcilla. In biology, Edgar Granados. Biology honors, Remy Leon. AP biology, Joseph Mooney. Marine Biology, Kylie Akanda. Chemistry, Eduardo Cabrera. Chemistry Honors, Christopher Arcade. AP Chemistry, Erica Guatalia. Anatomy and Physiology Honors, Morgan Knight. Physics honors Mia Carberera. AP Physics, Anthony Torres. Our dual enrollment students, we have two of them, Sierra Ashley. and Tyler Robertson. Environmental Science, Luis Montero. AP Environmental Science, Brandon Isibido. Experimental Science, Alexandra Fabello. In Forensic Science, Carolina Herrera. And then finally, our outstanding Senior Science Award goes to Kenishi Fields Espera. Congratulations to all of you, and we encourage you to continue. Continue your quest to deepen your knowledge and appreciation for the world of science. Good morning. Good 
morning, Mr. Simonet, and thank you. The next group of students lived, breathed, and studied history. This unrelenting love for the past will now be rewarded. Here is Mr. Roman to present those students that have excelled in their history classes. Good morning, good morning. All right, it is with great honor that I get to announce on behalf of the social studies departments the outstanding students this year. Um, I don't have a narrative for each of you, but I can say on behalf of every single social studies teacher, if your name is on this list, it's because you have been a bright spot in our classes, uh, especially in this year. Engagement is tough. Those MSO classes are tough. Um, I know that if you are here, you were engaged, you were asking questions, and you definitely made the year way better for us. Okay. So without further ado, for outstanding AP World History student, Kelly UN. Also, outstanding AP World History student, Alexa DeSolo. For outstanding World History Honors student, Abigail Barcia. For outstanding World History Honors student, Kayla Lewis. For Outstanding World History Honor Student, Umed Bokhari. For Outstanding American History Honor Student, Alexandra Batista. For Outstanding American History Honor Student, Natalie Choi. Outstanding American History Honor Student, Gabriel Torres. For Outstanding American History Honor Student, Brian Romero. For Outstanding AP American History Student, Chloe Luna. For Outstanding Dual Enrollment American History, Matthew Segura. For Outstanding AP Government Student, Renee Morales. For Outstanding AP Comparative Government, Joseph Mooney. For Outstanding Government Honor Student, Jordan Beeman. For Outstanding Government Honor Student, Jocelyn Pena. For Outstanding AP Macroeconomic Student, Joseph Mooney. For Outstanding AP Microeconomics, Kanishi Phils Esperant. For Outstanding Economics Honor Student, David Roy. For Outstanding Economics Honor Student, Jennifer Barragano. For Outstanding AP European History student, Jordan Beeman. For Outstanding AP Psychology student, Destiny Arias. And last but definitely not least, Outstanding so Senior Social Studies student of the year, Joseph Mooney. Let's give it up one more time for your Social Studies Awards recipients.
Thank you, Mr. Roman. I don't even think some of you sat down. You just kept walking in circles around. I don't, you just kept going. Okay. At Barbara Goldman, we have a variety of classes that encourage students to explore their creativity. The following students are our 2021 Fine Arts Outstanding Students. My student that I have nominated for Outstanding AP Art History is Sebastian Perez. Martinez. Sebastian's an MSO student. This is actually the first time that I'm meeting him. <laughs> Hi, Sebastian. You're a great student. Thanks for being fantastic. Great job, Sebastian. Okay, outstanding drawing one student, this is Miss Ruzi's um, nominations, is William Garcia. Miss Ruzi also nominated for outstanding drawing two student, Gabrielle Hernandez. Outstanding AP Studio Art student, Ryan Ladesma. <laughs> Mr. Rothel would like to say the following about this particular student has illustrated the passion, skills, and inclination that places her outside of the mainstream art and ceramic student. She is not only creative, technically skilled, but also gifted with the drive to excel with many tasks and techniques that she takes on. The outstanding advanced ceramic student is Jacqueline Calzadilla. Mr. Arukia has nominated the following drama students, well, theater students. Outstanding theater one student, Alejandra Rodriguez. Outstanding theater two student, Daniel Gonzalez. Outstanding theater three student, Brandon Isavido. Outstanding Theater 4 student, Jennifer Baragano. Outstanding Technical Theater student, Lara Castillo. Our next group of students are, were nominated by our director of bands, Mr. Chambers. Outstanding ninth grade band student, Simone Marshall. Outstanding 10th grade band student, Daniel Castro. Also outstanding 10th grade band student, Melanie Rodriguez. Outstanding 11th grade band student, Brandon Oliva. Also outstanding 11th grade band student, Daniela Perez. And 
finally, outstanding 12th grade band student, Benito Reyes. Well done to all our fine arts nominees. You make our world more beautiful. I have two more awards that I'd like to uh, present today. Ace P Spanish Language and Culture, Abraham Arana. And the Outstanding Ninth Grade Achievement Award goes to Joseph Rivera. Great job, Joseph. Great job, everyone. I would now like to introduce our athletic director, Mr. Flincham. He will be presenting awards for PPE and the athletics department. Thank you for that sitting ovation. I was supposed to be a joke. Okay, the first award goes to our Fitness Lifestyle, Fitness Lifestyle Design Class Award. And I'd like, I only have eight awards to give out, so I'd like all eight award winners to remain on stage so you can be properly recognized, okay? Our uh, Fitness Lifestyle Award winner has completed a mile run this year in six minutes 30 seconds he does 60 push-ups at a time he bench presses 145 pounds even though he only weighs 130 pounds and i tell all my boys in my weightlifting classes if you can bench press your body weight you're in pretty good shape because less than one percent of all males can bench press their body weight he bench presses 110 percent of his body weight He's been playing soccer since he was three years old. He came out for the, he was a JV uh, kicker on our JV football team last year. He, he used to take karate and received a brown belt. His favorite class is Mrs. Gregan's uh, PE class. Even though he's uh, MSO this year, he works out and trains on his own. His hobbies include football, soccer, and playing the guitar. I asked him what, he, what does he like most about his coaches and teachers. He says that they are persistent and they push him to be better. He plans on going to college to, and major in music engineering, and he wants to work in sound recording in the future. And I asked Ms. Gregans, how would you describe this student? She said, I, I have to describe Rodriguez with the letter R. He's reliable, respectful, and responsible. Our Fitness Lifestyle Award winner is Julian Rodriguez. Our Female Personal Fitness Award winner, okay, Julian's coming on stage. I want you to stand right here. Our Female Personal Fitness Award winner goes to a young lady who's started playing soccer at four years old. She's played soccer for two years, swimming for seven years, water polo for two years, gymnastics for two years, basketball for two years. It was our, ba our girls basketball team captain this year. She's done dance for 10 years. She's, on, she's a member of our school's swimming, water polo, and basketball teams. Um, her favorite activity and PE is basketball. 
Uh, her favorite class is PE. Her hobbies include reading, dancing, swimming, and being outdoors. And what she likes about her teachers and coaches is they're willing to teach her and help her advance. She wants to go to FSU and become a physical therapist. I asked uh, her swim coach, Ms. Grunauer, I said, how would you describe Juliana? She said, you have to describe Juliana with the letter J. She is joyful, jovial, and jubilant. Our personal fitness award winner is Juliana Carrera. Our male personal fitness award winner has uh, been playing soccer since he was 10 years old. His, his activities include uh, swimming. And he's played soccer uh, for six years. He was on our soccer, our intramural soccer team this year. His, his hobbies include uh, reading, language arts, personal uh, fitness and working out, basketball and football. He said what he likes about his teachers and coaches is they are understandable and they push him to be the best version of himself. And he wants to, after, after high school, he wants to go into real estate. And I asked our soccer coach, Coach Garcia, I said, how, how would you describe Bobby? He said, you gotta describe Bobby with the letter B. He's, he's balanced, bright, and bold. Our male personal fitness award winner is Bobby Cordova. We have a ninth grade dance award winner and a 12th grade dance award winner. Our ninth grade dance award winner has been taking dance lessons and, been, and competing in dance since she was six years old. She used to uh, work with a dance company called Re-Evolution. Um, her favorite uh, class is contemporary dance. Her favorite PE activity is contemporary dance. She said her favorite class is informational technology. Her hobbies include dancing, baking, and painting. And what she loves about her, te her dance teachers and coaches is their enthusiasm and their commitment. She wants to go to college and study computer science. I asked Miss Gregans, her dance teacher, how would you describe Carolina? She said, you gotta describe Carolina with the letter C. She is courageous, capable, and captivating. Our ninth grade dance award winner is Carolina Montejo. Our 12th grade dance award winner started playing soccer when she was 10 years old, playing for the YMCA. She's played soccer for one year, flag football for three years, danced for eight years, cheerleading for two years, and this year she is captain of our cheerleading team. She, uh, her activities include being a cheerleader and dancing in the studio. Uh, the, your cheerleading team took second place at the Florida Dance and Cheerleading Competition. She wants her favorite activity, MPE, is playing volleyball, and her favorite class is dance with Miss Gregans. Her hobbies include going shopping, going to this dance studio, and watching Criminal Minds. And I asked her, what do you, what do you think about your teachers and coaches? She said, well, what I have to say about Miss Gregans is she's the best, best dance teacher ever. They've built such a uh, special bond the past three years. Mrs. Gregans has been so kind, such a wonderful listener. She's always helped me with things outside of school and made sure to always keep me in check. This, yo this young lady is going to St. Thomas University and study criminal justice and become a lawyer. And she's gonna be on a, a cheerleader at St. Thomas University. I asked Ms. Gregans, how would you describe Andrea? She said, you have to describe Andrea with the letter A. Okay, she is amazing, 
admirable and awesome. Our Senior Dance Award winner is Andrea Sanchez. Last but not least is our Male Scholar Athlete Award. Our Male Scholar Athlete Award recipient is a truly renaissance man. He does it all. He's captain of our football team. He's president and founding member of the Medical Leaders of Tomorrow. National Honor Society Vice President, Class of 2021 Secretary. Member of this year's summa cum laude honor graduate. He completes all his tasks on time, has never let anyone down, whether you speak to his peers, coaches, or club sponsors. He's earned an unweighted GPA of 3.93, a weighted GPA of 5.41, and is ranked number three in the class. This young man is a true leader on and off the field of the swamp, and you'd think he'd have enough to do as a leader of all these organizations with his rigorous school schedule, but he's always asking, what can I do next? Throughout his four years at Goldman, he's been organized and focused. He set a standard for what it means to be a Goldman Gator, and we are proud to have him as part of our Goldman family. In the fall, he will be heading to UCLA. I asked Coach Corbero, how would you describe Dennis? He said he got to describe Dennis with the letter D. He's decisive, determined, and dependable. Our male scholar athlete is Dennis Valdez. Last but not least is our female scholar athlete award winner. Our female scholar athlete will one day be changing the world in the courtroom. She's captain of our tennis team and is captain of the tennis court. She's president of our law society, a member of Mu Alpha Theta, a national honor society, student government treasurer, and a member of this year's summa cum laude honor graduates. Aside from these leadership roles, she's also earned a few additional titles. Recently, for the second time in school history, she was an honorable mention for this year's Silver Knights Award for Social Studies. She's one of this year's recipients of Univision's Pride of Our Youth Award, and only 10 seniors in Miami-Dade and Broward County are awarded. She's earned an unweighted GPA of 3.95, a weighted GPA of 5.37. This young lady is truly remarkable and has left a wonderful example for all our younger Gators to follow. She has certainly paved the way for female athletes and scholars to follow, and we're honored to have her represent us this year. In the fall, she will be heading to Brown University. I asked our tennis coach, said, how would you describe Nicole? She said, you have to describe Nicole with the letter N. She's nice, neighborly, and noble. Our female scholar athlete is Nicole Lugo. Last but not least, okay, no, this is for real, last but not least. Okay, we have what's called apparently in my uh, team sports class, and she's a senior. She's been playing flag football since 10th grade. She was captain of our flag football team last year and this year. Last year, she was captain of our girls basketball team. This year, she was our baseball team manager, basketball team manager. She currently coaches six-year-olds uh, in flag football for the Miami Lakes Optimist. She's also an assistant in our athletic department. Uh, she takes uh, tickets at our baseball, softball, and football games, 
And now we're not allowed to take tickets, so tickets have to be bought online on your phone. And she, she's what's called our redeemer. She redeems the tickets on the phone because I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But she knows how. And she redeems the tickets for us. She's been a member of the marching band for the past four years, playing the flute. Her seniors elected her as the most athletic. She has over 300 hours of community service with the Miami Lakes Optimus and 300 community service hours here at Goldman. I asked her flag football coach, Coach Candy Fernandez, how would you describe Kiki? She said, he said, you gotta describe Kiki with the letter K. She is keen, kind, and caring. Our recipient, Okay, uh, Coach Fernandez is a PE teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Our perpetual PE award winner is Christina Kiki Gonzalez. Okay, thank you all. One more round of applause. Let's go this way. This way. I give Mr. Flincham an <laughs> for fantastic, fabulous, and fit. <laughs> we actually had one late arriver, so I'm going to I'm going to say an award one more time. This is the award for the outstanding ceramic student. This particular student has illustrated a passion and skill and inclination. It places her outside of the mainstream art and ceramic students. She is creative, technically skilled, and also gifted with the drive to excel with the many tasks and techniques that she takes on. The outstanding ceramic student is Jacqueline Calzadilla. to our magnet programs. Our first outstanding, I'm sorry, our first magnet presentation is by the CTE magnet, Miss John. So for this, this award, this award will be presented to students who have um, s exemplified excellence in their magnet programs and um, academic excellence conducting, performing, and, and executing uh, project-based learning assignments. In the first category, culinary, for Ms. Turner, we have outstanding culinary arts students Brendan Crawford. Second category, building trades and construction with Mr. Moskovic. We have outstanding building trade and construction, Kevin Fanjul. For our third category, Digital Marketing Magnet with Ms. Gant and Ms. Sweat, we have outstanding AP Studio Art student, Alyssa Leal. <laughs> we also have outstanding 11th grade 
digital marketing student, Yannette Quinones. Outstanding 10th grade digital marketing student, Gabriel Hernandez. Outstanding ninth grade digital marketing student, Simone Marshall. And for our FinTech magnet with Mr. Fernandez, we have outstanding accounting application student, Daniel Caraballo. Outstanding business and entrepreneurship principals student, Brandon Matos. Outstanding management and human resources student, Rosa Camacho. And for our information systems technology magnet with Mr. Johnson, we have outstanding computer science A student, John Rodriguez. Outstanding CSIT student, Roger McKenzie. Outstanding Foundations of Programming student, Diana Martinez. And for our Cybersecurity Magnet with Mr. Sokowitz, we have outstanding SciTech, I'm so sorry, outstanding SciSec Tech, Grade 9, Alejandra Regalado. Outstanding SciSet Tech, Grade 10, Foxy Zephyrin. Outstanding SciSet Tech, Grade 11, Jose Rodriguez. And with Computer Science Principles with Mr. Beretta, Outstanding Computer Science Principals, ninth grade, Oneles Torres Buela. Outstanding Computer Science Principals, tenth grade, Rudy Sosa. Outstanding Computer Science Principals, 11th grade, Brian Borrego. Outstanding Computer Science Principals, 12th grade, Sanai Anderson. And in our Advanced Information Technology category, for Ms. Acuna's class, we have Outstanding Advanced Information Technology student, Melanie Martinez. And for Ms. Acuna's class, also we have the Most Improved Advanced Information Technology student, Richard Gomez. And for my class, Advanced Information Technology, outstanding student, we have Brenda Tapia and Brian Vilela. Also for my class, most improved Advanced Information Technology student, Justin Ferrero. 
And for Mr. Flags, Advanced Information Technology class, outstanding Advanced Information Technology student, Maria Nunez. Congratulations on a job well done. Thank you, Ms. John. Our NSI magnet students are absolutely amazing this year. Here to acknowledge some of the best, Mr. Herrera. Good morning. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Mr. Herrera. I'm a social studies teacher and under the leadership of Magnet D teacher, Mr. Falcon, I assist in all aspects of the National Security Intelligence Magnet Program. Uh, to start off, we are the largest magnet program in the school, uh, and we are divided into three branches, law enforcement, forensics, and cybersecurity. Each branch provides our students with unique opportunities to better prepare them for the life after high school and become well-rounded leaders in various fields of study, such as forensic science, law, law enforcement, uh, computer science, political science, and so much more. Our courses offer students an overwhelming sea of knowledge from the basics of criminal justice system, family law, juvenile law, to international law, courtroom procedures, genetics, crime scene investigation, and forensics, and political analysis. During these difficult times, our teachers uh, did not allow for the COVID pandemic to interfere in your learning, nor did we allow it to stop us from exposing our students from engaging with the community. This is why when we couldn't go to them, we brought them to the school uh, via Zoom, of course. Uh, cybersecurity under the leadership of Mr. Sakowitz have provided our students with knowledge in coding and even hosted a Zoom conference with an Amazon engineer to talk with his students. Ms. Soto's students had the opportunity to discuss and meet with two federal judges and state attorneys to discuss the rule of law and other legal topics. Ms. Acosta and the mayor of, ha, had the mayor of Miami Lakes and state senator Jason Pizzo conference in to discuss with her students about local affairs. Mr. Falcon had Bernice King, daughter of the late Martin Luther King Jr. in his class to discuss racial equality. Our students have also won several competitions, winning cash prizes. Um, our, mock, our mock trial team with the leadership of Ms. Soto won second place in a district competition. Model UN took part in several competitions throughout the school year. One of our law students was even selected by the FBI for the National Academy program in which only 25 students in the country are selected to attend this extremely rare and incredible experience. Uh, everything we do in the classroom and beyond is with the best interest of our students. Uh, but without further ado, for this year's Outstanding Student Awards, I have the honor of acknowledging some of our brightest in the NSI Magnet, uh, nominated by your teachers. Each of these students embody the best of Barbara Goldman. Uh, I can assure you that your hard work and dedication uh, do not go unnoticed. Uh, and with that being said, for the NSI Law Enforcement, the ninth grade Outstanding Student Award, goes to Leonardo Ladero. Ladero? For the 10th grade, Marimar Alfonso. 11th grade, Natalie Hidalgo. 12th grade, Rene Morales. Uh, for the forensic science, we have for the ninth grade outstanding student, Maria Nunez. Tenth 
10th grade, Gabriela Rodriguez. Eleventh grade, Fabian Hernandez. And last but not least, twelfth grade, Kanishi Fields Esperanza. Thank you and congr congratulations to you all. For those of you that don't know, Mr. Herrera is actually an alumni. We've actually had two speakers today that are alumni. We have heard from Miss Ojeda our language arts department had, and then we also heard from Mr. Herrera. They say third time's the charm. So here's Mr. Arguelles, our charming Gator alum and AP Capstone magnet teacher to present outstanding magnet students. Right, good morning, guys. Good morning. So I'm here to present the uh, AP Capstone Awards. Um, the AP Capstone program is made up of two core classes, one in 10th grade called AP Seminar, and one in 11th grade called AP Research. Uh, I'm going to begin with uh, AP Seminar. So on behalf of uh, Ms. Albano, who teaches that class, uh, she says that both of these amazing students finished, the, finished this school year in uh, strong fashion by standing tall and delivering and by finding the strength to stay the course and excel in the only AP course with three assessments. That takes discipline, perseverance, and self-motivation. They should both take great pride in what they have been able to accomplish. Join me in congratulating the following students for being very resilient and determined uh, scholars who represent the very best that our school has to offer. The first student is Laura Castellón. And finally, the second student is Marco Rios. All right, the next award that I'll be presenting is for the class that I teach, uh, which is called uh, AP Research. Uh, the AP Research class, as many of you know, is quite challenging. And so these two students, I'm very, very proud of the work that they've done this year. And uh, I, it is my pleasure and my honor to present this award to them. The first uh, student that I'll be presenting the award to, um, she is a scholar at heart. She has a genuine love of learning and a discipline and work ethic well beyond her years. For the entire time I've been teaching AP Research, she's been the only senior to ever take my course. To do that, she had to take AP Seminar last year as a junior, which is typically a class for sophomores in the AP Capstone program. She's an incredible student, so it's no wonder that she received acceptances to USF, Emory, and Cornell University. Her topic of inquiry in my class focused on the intersection of the pharmaceutical industry and blockchain technology. The goal of her research paper was to identify the ways in which managers believed their confidence was influenced regarding blockchain technology implementation within the pharmaceutical cha supply chain using a qualitative approach. It is my honor to present the AP Research Award to Kira Ruiz Houston. Congratulations. All right, uh, next up, uh, the winner of uh, the second person who won the AP Research Award is also the recipient of another award called the Harvard Book Award. Uh, the Harvard Book Award, can I say this? The Harvard Book Award is uh, given on behalf of Harvard University to the top junior in every high school in the United States. Uh, and this particular student is an incredible, incredible student. Even though she's very quiet in class, he is uh, a real standout. The next recipient of the AP Research Award and also of the Harvard Book Award is a student that is typically, like I said, very quiet in class and also very you know, incredibly humble. However, she's a powerhouse of intelligence, work ethic, and resilience. She's consistent and simply brilliant overall. She's also an athlete and a genuine human being. Her research project focused on the motivations behind why adults volunteer their time. 
Specifically, the goal of her, AP, of her AP research paper was to identify the motivations of older adult volunteers for non for nonprofit. Uh, sorry, so it, yeah, uh, all the adult volunteers for nonprofit youth sports organizations through understanding of their fulfillment of generative <coughs> of generative needs. The recipient of the Harvard Book Award and of the AP Research Award is Caitlin Landrum. Thank you, Mr. Arguelles. Okay. A few years ago, a tradition at Barbara Goldman Senior High School was established, a tradition in which one senior was selected to be recognized in the category of leadership. It is a very special award that in the past has been awarded to the most committed and exemplary student, athlete, and leader. This person is respected and admired by teachers and peers alike. A person that carries themselves with our Goldman Gator pride, whether on the field or hosting an event for the student body. This year, we decided to shake things up because, well, this is the year to shake things up. Usually, oh, I like that. Usually, our leadership award recognizes one student leader who embodies everything a well-rounded student should be. But this year, we have two recipients of the Outstanding Leadership Award. They have worked as a team all year long, so it's only fitting that they should take the stage together. Congratulations, Nina Castro-Bosch and Ayala Rose. <laughs> 2021 recipients of the Outstanding Graduating Senior Leadership Awards. Welcome, guys. Great job. Look, they even dressed alike. Did you guys play them out? Okay. <laughs> I would now like to acknowledge a graduating senior that is truly a globetrotter. He arrived in the U.S. from Cuba only five years ago, and in August, he will be leaving to Bard College in Berlin, Germany. From Cuba to Berlin in five years, this outstanding student has proven to us that America truly is the land of opportunity. Your teachers, faculty would like to recognize you this road to success. Jose, on behalf of the faculty and staff, your teachers, as well as local businesses, have come together to support your dreams, and we'd like to present you with this scholarship. Congratulations, Jose David. Joining me on stage now are members of our administration who will be presenting our Outstanding Gator Awards. my distinct honor to be recognizing the Outstanding Freshman Award for the 2021 school year. Those of you who are sophomores and juniors and
seniors, imagine what it's like to be a freshman this year and trying to really establish yourself as being a Gator and trying to get whatever you can of the freshman experience. Well, this particular person did everything in their power to do that. This ninth grader is a rising star. Her teachers describe her as dedicated, hardworking, honest, and caring. This very promising young lady is intelligent, well, soft-spoken, thoughtful, and unassuming in a humble nature, like a magnet for her peers and teachers alike. Not only is she bright and soft and sensitive, but she's also a female athlete and a competing member of the girls' JV volleyball team, the girls' soccer team, and a member of the varsity track team. One of her coaches reflected, saying she always has a positive, ready-to-win attitude. Her tenacity inspires her teammates to play harder and fight to be the best of themselves as well. A truly amazing student, athlete, and peer, she is worthy of this recognition and more. We here at Barbara Goldman are fortunate to call this stellar young lady a Gator who made it possible to have the best Gator experience this ninth grade year, and she has without a doubt proven herself to be committed to her studies, her goals, and her future. I speak on behalf of all administration teachers and staff when I say congratulations to Kayla Lewis, Barbara Goldman, senior high, outstanding freshman for the 2020-21 school year. Our outstanding sophomore is not here. That person is taking an AP exam, which is indicative of the type of person this is. And I know him. I'm never gonna make it through next year. <laughs> um, we're fortunate that we've known a lot of you since sixth grade. So this particular young man, I can tell you right now, is a mixture of um, Elon Musk, Jimmy Kimmel, he plays five instruments, He's as kind as anyone you would ever meet. He has friends from all walks of life. Um, when you meet him, you know that there are great things ahead for him. And I'm, I'm actually proud to be able to say that we've been able to watch him grow. And he's only a sophomore. While his achievements may often appear to come with ease, this young man has an unwavering desire to rise above. Not only for himself, but he wants to see everyone else rise above. He wants to solve the problems of the world and be a musician. And a Supreme Court Justice. And when you meet him, you know he's gonna do it all. He takes his education to heart and he values his experiences both inside and outside the classroom. He's a member of the mock trial team, president of the Model UN, and he's also a really good friend to a lot of people, which I think right now, all of us have really depended on our really good friends to get us through this year. So even though he's not here, and hopefully he'll watch this on our YouTube channel, Let's hear it for our outstanding sophomore and a future that we will all know his name, Marcos Rios. Thank you, Ms. Bueno. It is my distinct pleasure to present to you the out most outstanding junior award. Ambitious, responsible, superior, are just of the few adjectives used by her teachers, coach, and sponsors to describe this well-rounded young lady. She is an academic, an athlete, a student leader. She is respected by her peers and faculty alike for her focus and diligence. Those that know her, note her tenacious spirit, always striving for more. Even when the bar is higher than ever, she meets adversity with a positive attitude and uses it to develop and overcome obstacles. Academically, she is outstanding, a stellar example of where hard work and determination can lead you. Her accolades include AP and dual enrollment student, girls volleyball player, student government secretary. She has established herself as a natural leader that others follow by example. We here at Barbara Goldman look forward to a bright year ahead for this outstanding member of the class of 2022. I speak on behalf of the administration's teachers and staff when I say congratulations to Amanda Saiz the outstanding junior student. Amanda, this award is a testament to your hard work and dedication.
It is now time to present the most distinguished award of the year, Barbara Goldman Senior High School's Most Outstanding Senior for the 2020-2021 school year. This student truly embodies the Goldman model, once a Gator, always a Gator. He has walked the halls long before he was in high school, and we hope he will continue to visit long after. He actually was a member of the Gator Gang when he was three and four years old. So this student, we could say he is an OG, an original Gator. Our 2021 Most Outstanding Senior is a young man whose teachers and sponsors described as mature, extremely intelligent, dedicated, and introspective. One of his teachers reflected, he is selfless and motivated young man who has been more than 100% committed to his educational career and the service of others. He has an extraordinary work ethic and has been truly inspiring. He is truly gifted and all around is one of the most exceptional students that I have encountered in my teaching career. He has been an exemplary student throughout his four years at the school, having received many academic awards over the past four years. This, mor this afternoon or morning, he has been on stage several times already. Today more than ever, is it, it is clear this young man is respected and trusted by his peers, teachers, club sponsors alike for his focus and determination. This outstanding senior is always thinking about his future. His hard work has paid off. He will be attending the University of Chicago in the fall. It is a tradition at Barbara Goldman Senior High that we recognize one outstanding senior, a person who, believe, who we believe encompasses everything that is special about our school. This year's outstanding senior is a summa cum laude honor, graduated rank number one with a 5.47 GPA, president of the National Junior Honor Society, president of Mu Alpha Theta, member of the Science National Honor Society, a Silver Knight nominee for mathematics, an AP scholar with distinction, a recipient of the AP capstone diploma, the superintendent's diploma of distinction, and broke the school record for the most AP courses taken, and I'm sure he's gonna pass the last few that he has left. So I am filled with pride and honor to present this deserving recognition, Barbara Goldman Senior High School's 2021 Outstanding Student Senior to Joseph Mooney. Joseph, thank you for making our swamp a better place and leaving a legacy that is going to be hard to follow. Best of luck to you and all your future endeavors. Let's give it up one more time for all of our outstanding scholars this morning. Thank you, students. The Goldman family is very proud of each and every one of your accomplishments. Continue striving for success and may your enthusiasm for learning never diminish. Family and guests, thank you for sharing this special moment with us. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and see you at graduation.